The AP550 from Primera can apply labels to a wide variety of containers including many odd shaped containers you may not consider. In this video you will see how to apply labels to a hexagon shaped honey container, flat empty bags, and filled bags. Except for positioning of the container, the setup process is the same no matter what container is used. Let's start with the honey container. First install the label roll on the roll bar. Place the roll drag arm under the roll bar so that the rounded tip is near the center of the roll. Place the roll bar with labels on the pins so that the bar is fully seated on the pins. Remove several labels from the liner. Use your index fingers to roll the leading edge of the label stock under the label guide roller. Continue feeding labels forward until it protrudes from the front of the applicator. Pull the remaining slack through the applicator. Feed the leading edge of the label stock between the liner drive and idler rollers. Continue feeding it directly under the stock coming off the roll and pull it tight. Lock the labels in place by pushing on the metal liner idler roller. Move the guide collars so that they are close to but not pinching the label stock. Move the applicator arm to the appropriate height. For this container we chose the second notch from the bottom. To apply labels to the honey container we need to add a container guide and flip the orientation. Access the label container settings by holding down the mode button for two seconds. Press the recall reset until GPO is displayed. The platform will move out all the way and allow you to access the underside. Locate the second guide and install it. Orient the guide so that the guide edges face each other. Then tighten the thumb screw from underneath. Position the container on the platform. Make any final adjustments to their position and tighten the thumb screws. Press the mode button to exit the settings. Finally, to adjust the position of the label on the container, you need to move to the starting position of the platform. Access the label container settings by holding down the mode button for two seconds. Press the recall reset until PPO is displayed. With the container in place, press the plus or minus buttons to move the platform in or out. During this process, you can push the arm down to test the position of the label as it relates to your container without actually applying a label. Once you are satisfied with the position, press the mode button to exit the settings. Now you are ready to apply labels to your container. Position the container on the platform. Hold the container in place as you push down the arm. The label will be applied to the topmost surface. Finish the application by quickly pressing down the edges of the label. If it's not quite right, you can always go back into the label container settings to make further adjustments to the guide position or the platform position. To apply labels to a flat bag, follow the same steps for loading the label stock. Adjust the arm to the first notch from the bottom. You will need to raise the height of the bag one inch above the platform to prevent the arm from hitting the rear platform guide. Depending on the level of accuracy you're looking for, you can use something as simple as a book to raise the bag up to proper application height. If you need precise accuracy, you may choose to create a riser from wood or dense foam that holds the bag in a depression. Place the bag on the book. Hold it in place as you push down on the arm and the label will be applied. To apply labels to a filled bag, follow the same steps, however no riser will be necessary. Make all necessary adjustments to the guides and platform position in the settings, firmly hold the filled bag in place, press down on the arm, and the label will be applied. For more information, visit us at www.primaralabel.com.